Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will be solving this problem called group, groups, and group dict. So, we will be learning about this functions group, groups, and group dict. So, here you can see a group expression returns one or more subgroup of the match. Subgroup of the match means we will be uh, representing by uh, brackets. You can see import re m is equal to re match, it is matching this, this pattern which is nothing but username at the rate uh, domain name uh, sorry username at the rate uh, what do you call this i i don't remember this uh, this name after at the rate and then this com so this is what it is detecting so word one or more time in the parenthesis then at the rate then again word one or more times then you have a dot then word one or more time okay <clears throat> so here you can see it is uh, detecting in this string so that is uh, the the uh, expression now here you can see when it is finding the match what all things we can do if you do m dot group 0 it will match the entire entire string so username at the rate hacker rank dot com because it matches with this pattern okay this full pattern uh, this this here this pattern then you can do m dot group one so that it will just tell the first parenthesis first parenthesis subgroup you can uh, you can see it is written here so that is username similarly if you will do m dot group two it will give the second group m dot group three give the third group and finally if you will club all of them m dot group one two three you will get multiple arguments in tuple form you can see username hacker rank and com they are in tuple okay so this is what you can do with group you can extract out the group now uh, similar to that you have groups this this thing you have done right so same thing you can do with group uh, in single shot so you can see returns a tuple containing all the subgroup of the match so if you will have same same expression but if you will do m dot groups you will get username hacker rank and com just like last guy okay all the subgroups will be clubbed in a tuple now third is group dict so it will return in dictionary form uh, returns a dictionary containing all the named subgroup of the match keyed by a subgroup name so each subgroup will be having a name associated to it okay here you can see uh, the expression is slightly different uh, this this uh, string is same but here you can see word at the rate word dot word instead of that you have something called question mark p user okay so some name is given so here you, uh, you might have seen this uh, this uh, uh, expression so here it is question mark name p so you are representing uh, 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 you can see here similar to regular parenthesis but the substring matched by the group is accessible via symbolic uh, group name name okay so it is accessible via this name whatever you will put here so here you can see they are putting user for uh, username uh, for website they are putting website name and for extension it is putting extension name so what the output will have website this uh, website will be having hacker rank similarly user will be my name and extension will be com you can see this string right so each of them you are associating a, a key to uh, each of the subgroup will be having a key here okay so you have to represent it so these are the three uh, functions uh, you uh, now know now what is our task uh, you are given a string s your task is to find the first occurrence of the alphanumeric character in s read from left to right and that has consecutive repetitions okay so you have to find the first alphanumeric character which has consecutive repetition from left to right right so you will be having a string s and the length could be 0 to 100 you have to print the, uh, the first occurrence of the repeating character if there are no repeating characters you have to print minus 1 so you have this um, this uh, string you can see a dot is there but dot we don't have to um, uh, see we have to uh, uh, look for alphanumeric character alphanumeric means uh, capital a to capital z small a to small z 0 to 9 okay so you can see first alphanumeric character is 1 
and it is repeating consecutively here okay not here it is saying consecutive repetitions so consecutive repetition is occurring here okay so your output will be one right one you can see first occurrence of the alphanumeric character in s that has consecutive repetition okay so dot dot is the first repeating character but it is not alphanumeric one is the first from the left to right uh, alphanumeric repeating character of the string in the substring one 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 you can see okay so uh, you can see it is a regex thing uh, so let me first uh, write the base so let's s is equal to input right then uh, let me import re right and let me call it t is equal to re dot search then comma s in s it will search r here we will write the pattern if t is true will print t so that we'll be able to see else else will print minus one right this is the base thing you can uh, do now we have to write the expression here now f how we, we have to check see uh, we need to use these brackets right uh, what we have done before as well so first i'll write alphanumeric character so this comes with pure logic i mean the, you have to practice regex then only these kind of logics will come and 0 to 9 so this is alphanumeric character right first it will occur so i'll keep it in bracket so that i can refer again same character now here next you can have any any anything right a to z um, also or you can have um, dots as well any other character as well right so we we have to look for uh, alphanumeric character so here i will do if uh, dot is occurring 0 to 1 times then i am referring not 0 to 1 0 or more times then i am referring to the this first bracket this first group appearing how many times 3 or more or 2 or more 2 or more i'll keep okay and uh, we can see uh, one thing so this is the pattern the alphanumeric character same thing will repeat uh, two or more times now this could happen that here you will not have any uh, digit uh, in between these two guys right so what i'll do is uh, i'll uh, keep anything but zero i'll keep okay if there will be zero the repetition will be starting with one only right here there will be one character here nothing is occurring i'll remove this star any character is not occurring and then the same character this guy is occurring one or more times so repetition will occur here itself okay if there is no digit in between or or it could happen then that here some digit will occur so i'll take this guy Control c Control V, but this time what I'll do, one or more. One or more means you can keep plus, right? But here it will be two. At least two will be required uh, to call it as it is repeating. Okay, let's run it. So you can see there is a match one one one. Uh, yeah. But we don't have to uh, look for match, right? We have to look for group. So dot group zero I can't keep. It will show all the match. I'll keep one so that it will look for this bracket. So one. All the test cases are passed and done. Right. So anything could occur in between. Uh, see the two cases I have created here. In first case, you can see here these guys. Uh, so this expression, this expression, if you look at this guy, this one. So one digit will occur this guy. 
and uh, from here onwards anything could be there anything could be there that comes in dot plus okay then occurs one again two or more times so as soon it it, it will find it is occurring two or more times it will produce a match whereas here what is happening you don't have any digit in between after this one directly this one is coming this could be possible right so in that case i am keeping it only one one or more so that this becomes total two two or more right here also it is two or more so that uh, that same thing i am doing it so i hope you got the feel it is regex simple regex problem if you are um, comfortable enough with regex now so you might have understood okay so this is how it will work uh, so yeah th this was the problem yeah let's move on to the next one